Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're going to be checking out a Lord of the Rings mod here today. Yes, a Lord of the Rings mod. Your eyes are not deceiving you. So welcome back to another mod spotlight video here today. So there will be a Steam link in the description below to the workshop so you can download and test this mod out for yourself. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a campaign on this, depending on the likes and the comments. Maybe you guys would like to see a Mirkwood faction. So if someone says in the comments, yes, yeah, MC plays Gondor or Imladris or something, vote up that comment. But yeah, this is on the Steam Workshop now. You're most welcome to go download and just sort of play around with things, play around with yourself. So, let's get stuck right into it now, shall we? So it's called Ardia Wars. You've got Gondor here as well. We've got Mordor, Mirkwood, Isengard, Imladris over here, and we've got Rohan. Uh, just looking at some of the mod notes, they do plan to put in custom units. Um, I... Uh, we'll go through it all. I I'm not too sure if... I think some of these factions do have a national focus. Do they or do they not? I'm just having a quick look here. No, they don't at the moment. The Gondor one doesn't. So, at the moment, guys, it's pretty bare bones at the moment. But, hopefully, in the future, we can have a very exciting mod. Like, imagine if they could redo the campaign map as well, kind of similar to the Game of Thrones mod. So, yeah, let me know any suggestions as well because... Uh, Often the mod developers do watch these sort of videos and just see how much traction these things get. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got any cool ideas for this or what you'd like to see. They do plan to add more units. Uh, they also plan to retexture these as well. I don't know how long it's going to take, of course, but uh, stay tuned to this channel and obviously the Steam Workshop page. So we're going to have a look at Gondor here now. So let's quickly go through everything. So we've got Denethor here. So, okay. Alright, just looking through this. So research-wise, nothing's being customed at the moment by the look of it. Now, what I find interesting about this mod is obviously the Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings books were heavily inspired upon the events in World War II. Obviously, the Hobbits were the English countryside. Mordor, the uh, the evil lord in the Far East, was probably meant to be Hitler. Tolkien did fight in World War II, so there's probably a lot of similarities between World War II and the Lord of the Rings, which is really quite cool. So let's go through diplomacy here now. Oh, I forgot to show you. So we've got, we've also got Erebor here. You could even play as the communist dwarves. <laughs> now I feel like with these mods, even though I would like to see a dwarf or Aragon riding a massive tank, I feel like you'd have to redo the tech tree to like swords or maybe as you get higher up, because as you can see here with, what is it? Oh yeah, weapons, maybe you can get like, elven swords towards the end for your armies. So here's Gondor, let's go through here, so we've got Denethor guards, Citadel guards, Gondor reserves, alright. So we've got Boromir as a field marshal, Aragorn, so we'll go through all the factions here, but this is sort of a bit of a taste, Faramir, Madriel as well. Trade-wise, it's pretty much the same. Construction is the same as well. Production hasn't been changed at all. Uh, let's go through. So we've got... Okay, so here's the recruitment. So this has been rechanged. So it's pretty much just a... Just a reskin for Hearts of Iron at the moment. But this the potential this mod has. Soldiers of Gondor, Fountain Guards, Gondorian Knights, Gondorian Militia. Alright, cool. So let's just quickly go through all the factions just in case I'm missing some. We'll go through each faction in a minute. So where's diplomacy here? Okay, so I'm just going through everything. Just quickly going through... Gondor, Imladris, Isengard, Mirkwood, Mordor, Rohan, and that's it. So yeah, Isengard has been reskinned to Italy. Germany's been reskinned to Mordor. France has been reskinned to Gondor. Uh, Imladris has been reskinned to the UK. Mirkwood has been reskinned from Poland, and Erebor has been reskinned from. I guess this is just a huge chunk in the Soviet Union, Kiev and Minsk. And then obviously we've got this. Rohan United States going through so let's actually go through some of the factions I'll back out and uh, go through all of them now shall we okay we're gonna be having a look at Mordor now let's have a look at some of these units Naz <laughs> Nazgul company okay so what is sort of this Eye of Sauron Democratic Eye of Sauron so that sort of stuff hasn't changed none of this stuff has changed as well at the moment by the look 
of it. All right. So here's the recruitment stuff. Hero division orcs, Nazgul riders. All right. Cool. What units can we? What generals can we recruit from here? So we got Sauron, the Witch King, Nazgul's, Goth Mong. That's quite cool. Right, let's move on to someone else now. Here we have the Elves of Mirkwood in Poland. <laughs> so, it's basically just Thrandil, King Thrandil. So that's the only difference in the tech tree there, of course. Have these guys been renamed at all, perhaps? No, nah, Soldiers, Guard, Cavalry, Militia as well. Alright, cool. Not much to do here. Let's move on to the Dwarves of Erebor. My bad, before we go on to it, I need to show you the generals that you can choose from. So we've got Legolas. Thrandil, oh, uh, Tariel, <laughs> and Elros, alright, the dwarves of Erebor, in the heart of the Soviet Union here, <laughs> what do they have, Minsk, uh, what else, Kiev was in here, I'm pretty sure as well, oh well, right, so who's the king, we have 100% com communist, King Thor, Thrall, not Thor, uh, national focuses, no. Let's go through the... Oh, God. There should be heaps. <laughs> so, we've got Dane. We've got Thorin. We've got Thrain. We've got Balin. Biffa. Bomba. Dory. Nori. <laughs> Philly. Killy. Gimli. <laughs> Glon. Nori. Oh, that's awesome. Ori. Killy. <laughs> I think I went through most of them there, though. All right. So, let's probably move on to now. Imladris. Here we are. The Elves of Imladris. Elrond as their leader. Okay, I'm just sort of saying, I wish if he could go like communist, fascist, or go neutral, I guess. It'd be kind of cool if there was different options to be your leader. Right, so we've got Elrond, of course, battle hardened there. Um, his twin sons, Glorfindel. <laughs> Alright, that's quite cool. Uh, what else here, tech tree wise, national focus, I mean. No, nothing's been customs here. Guards, soldiers, so there's a couple of more units that still need to be renamed, of course. It's interesting that they have this small pocket here in Turin. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I guess that's meant to simulate something, rather. That's pretty much it for here. Let's move over to Rohan. Now, I'm pretty sure Rohan does have a national focus change, I think. Or maybe they're looking towards it. Anyway. So here we have Rohan, the sleeping giant in the west. <laughs> okay. So Theoden poisoned and then Theoden. Right. Okay, because he's currently corrupted at the moment. No, there's no sort of tech tree sort of stuff here. Alright, I guess you could change if you want. So we've got Rohan, Theoden's cavalry. Okay, just Theoden men here. Who is from our recruitment pool here? So Theoden, uh, Aelmer, Aelwyn, Morwen. Is that Jamie fucking Lannister? Thangel. <laughs> it is too. Theor Theor Dread. That's cool. Alright, let's move on to Isengard. And last but not least, we have Saruman in Isengard. Saruman the White. Saruman. Okay, I guess if you flipped it over to Democratic, it'd be good. So we've got 1st Infantry here, no Urukai in our custom stuff there. Our national focus hasn't been changed at all, so I guess that's sort of a work in progress. Which the entirety of this mod is. So we've got Saruman, we've got Lurtz, we've got Shagrat, Agluk. Oh, cool. So yeah, guys. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see a series on this mod, perhaps, uh, leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below who, who, who you would like me to play as. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more Hearts of Iron videos. Stay tuned for some more mod spotlights in the next couple of days. I do plan to do some more of them. But yeah, leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe some other strategy games you haven't picked up just yet, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Patreon and Steam group are there in the description below as well. Come and join the community on Steam and that is pretty much it. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Take care of yourselves. My name has been Simpsy. Goodbye. Some really close cinematic shots here. Pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs>
That was probably the shot of the video there.